Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you're located, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. To all the people in the U.S. that celebrate it, happy Thanksgiving. Um, I figured a lot of us today might have some downtime where we're browsing some videos, maybe trying to get some last minute ideas for our list before good old uh, Black Friday rolls around as a number of especially coloring book artists uh, will probably put some of their books and stuff on sale for Black Friday. Some of them already are and we're going to talk about them here. Um, so this kind of flip through featuring Christmas winter related uh, coloring pages. This is my part three. It'll be the last part of this um, and it's going to be all my digital downloads. There are a couple in here that are Jade Summer digital downloads. Um, last year and before that Jade Summer offered uh, the ability to purchase digital versions of their books. That went away as of I think it was December last year. So I do have some digital copies of some Jade Summer books that I'm going to show, but when I link them in the description, they'll be linked to the actual physical book because they no longer offer the digital download, sadly. So, but I figured you would still like to see them. We've got quite a bit to cover in this video. Um, couple other notes. If, uh, as always, if you're wondering what I'm doing, what I'm thinking reg regarding Kappa. Um, I'm linking that video in the description so you can go see that rant slash plan slash whatever. I'm also including a playlist which I think gives the best information on what's going on with that. Um, but that's all I'm going to talk about it. Um, I'm going to cover that in every video just because I want to keep that first and foremost in the front of everybody's minds because I don't want it to disappear. But that's about all I'm going to cover in this video for that. Um, secondly, I am doing a giveaway video today. If you have not seen it yet, I'm probably going to publish these one right after the other. So be sure to go check that out. I will, once I have that video loaded, <laughs> go back and link it in the description as well. I am featuring some Christmas books in that giveaway. So um, you might want to go check that out if you're interested. Now. The beauty of digital downloads, um, particularly using Etsy, quite a few artists use Etsy for digital downloads. And um, these are really nice because sometimes maybe, uh, you know, you want a coloring page, but maybe not an entire book per se. Or you're like me and your bookcase is busting at the seams and... <laughs> You don't really need any more coloring books, but maybe having the digital version on your laptop, it's, it's an organ, you know, a storage issue, right? Like, you know, you're just trying to be more organized. And if you have the digital copy, then it's not taking up physical space. And that's what you try to tell yourself as you continue to download. <laughs> that is a very dangerous road. I'm just telling y'all, like, <laughs> we're not going to talk about what my digital downloads look like right now. They are a massive mess. So, um, but like I said, a lot of times artists will do a discount on a particular page. Like you can see here, this is a Deborah Muller page from, um, her, uh, I think it's the Christmas magic book. I think this one's from, I can't quite remember, but anyway, she's got, uh, just, she's even got it marked down by 30%. So it's a dollar for a coloring page. These can be if you just want a single page a little more budget friendly than buying an entire coloring book and like i said they do also offer sales um, on etsy as well so this will be a good time to check and see if some of your favorite artists are having sales with that being said i'm going to go through some of my uh, favorite artists and some of the christmas slash winter type pages i own and then at the end, I do have a couple of Jade Summer books that we're going to do kind of a digital flip through slash scroll through to, uh, cause I found my Christmas animals one, but it's a digital download. So I was talking about that one the other day. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Actually, I think we're going to go to hers first. Yep. Yeah, the way I've got these organized. Okay. So like I said, most 
not most, but a lot of artists will offer their digital downloads through Etsy if they have them. So you can always go to Etsy and search for your favorite artists. We're going to cover Christine Karen first. Um, very well-known artist, a uh, very popular artist. I love her pictures. I've got, like I said, we're not going to talk about the digital downloads I have because I never get around to printing these out because I'm lazy. That's one of the downsides is, of course, obviously, if you own the digital version, you need to have a reliable printer that you can print them out on um, and pa good paper that you like to color on. What I'm going to do, and I'll mention this again at the end of the video, is um, I have a particular paper that I've been doing some marker blending and coloring on that works really well. I will put that in the description. If you have a favorite type of paper that you like to use for digital downloads, for um, colored pencil, for watercolor, anything like that, please feel free to leave uh it in the comments like what type of paper you like to use so that might be helpful for other people that want to do digital downloads but they may not be sure about what type of paper they should use so again back around to Christine Karen I went completely off on that one um, if you're looking specifically for like Christmas or holiday pictures like I did here you can easily search for Christmas within their um, within their library let's clear the search or not let's just sit here and pretend it's cleared okay well whatever anyway as you can see she has a ton of featured she has digital coloring books she has coloring pages um, she's really well known for her grayscale and I think for her fairy series I do not have fairies three I don't even know if I have the original fairies, but I know I have fairies too, so. Anyway, she does offer, as you saw, some uh, Christmas and winter related pages. So let's pull up this. Yes, I have them in order. Look at all these guys. <laughs> like I said, this is going to take a few minutes. Anyway, um, here are some of the pages that she features um, on her uh, Etsy store and uh, the artists either offer them as a JPEG or a PDF or both depending on which you prefer. So here's one of the ones that I purchased from her that I really like. Hers is going to be a matter of I can't sit here and flag exactly what I'm going to color. It's just going to be a matter of um, trying to figure out trying to squeeze these into my already massive planned coloring. <laughs> for for the Christmas season um this one's just gorgeous they're all gorgeous I you're gonna hear me say a lot okay what'd you do there you go okay can I rotate this one yes here's another one of hers that I love and it's absolutely adorable here is another one of hers that she has I believe her coloring pages are at least her Christmas coloring pages, the ones I'm showing are all $3.33 as of today. So I can't guarantee that price. I can't guarantee it won't change tomorrow or anything like that. But um, anyway, that's the price it is right now, US. So, and then we have this one, which is not grayscale, but again, still just super adorable. I absolutely love her stuff. I think I'm going to make it a goal in 2020 that I've got to color a digital download at least once or twice a month. Like, I think that's going to be a good goal for next year. Because I have all these digital pictures and I keep forgetting I have them. Okay, so that is Christine Karen. Then we have the lovely C.L. Aldridge. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with her, she also has a number of books available on Amazon um, as, you know, uh, fiscal purchases of the books. But then she also offers digital download versions and then just separate coloring pages, as you can see here, that may not may or may not be featured in some of her books. She does offer some Christmas coloring pages. I do have one in particular I like out of the set that I'm going to show you. So we're going to pull that up. 
I like her Christmas snow globe right here. I like the pattern of the tablecloth against um, the other patterns here. She does a lot of mandalas and uh, pattern type pages as well. Um, and I, I like everything. I like everything she's throwing down. Let's just say it this that way. So um, this is a page I'm looking at for this upcoming season. So there is Seal Aldridge by Charlie's Hand. Um, back in October, I participated in the creepy collaboration uh, coloring contest that was, um, I believe, it was a number of artists uh, by Charlie's Hand, Sassy, uh, Sassy Coloring, Creative Happy Life, oh my goodness, there was one more, and then uh, Deborah Muller number of them had each created a unique page that you could color and enter into the contest. The cool thing about that was I found a bunch, a number of artists that I wouldn't have known about otherwise. And by Charlie's hand, uh, Charlotte Trim was one of them. She does offer some digital downloads and uh, she does offer a group of coloring pages for Christmas or festive coloring pages. So let's go pull those up. Where did those go? There they are. Sorry about that. Got out of order. There we go. So it's a group of five uh, holiday Christmas coloring pages that are just adorable. I love this one. I love them all, but figured I would show you these. I would say I'm eyeing that first picture. If I was going to get a picture in this set for sure, it would probably be the first one for sure. Or is, is the, is the goal. So this is uh, by Charlie's hand. Then we have Creative Happy Life, as I was just talking about, which is Kim White. She also has quite a few uh, digital downloads. It looks like she has a printable calendar for 2019. So um, I'm going to be keeping an eye, hoping that she does one for 2020 as well, which would be really cool. She also has um, digital friendly coloring pages, which is really cool. I think she has... Yeah, she's got some different stuff in her uh, in her Etsy shop. So, the items in particular that, or the pictures in particular, I downloaded from her are Santa sleigh. Make sure I have that right. Do not want to accidentally be featuring pictures from another artist. And yep, Santa sleigh is one of them. And this one, I'm really feeling the printing on the marker-friendly paper and doing like the dark background, nighttime background on this one. And it, it doesn't have a border. I kind of like that with this one. So there's that one. There's also, uh, it's called Winter Wonderland Cozy Foxes, which is adorable. I love, I love like the foxes and the squirrels and the rabbits and I'm just really drawn to those I guess like the fuzzy animals lately so there is creative happy life then we have sassy coloring these, these are by Sascha Cook I think is her name um, she also has journal coloring which is really cool like journal tracker pages, which I think is a really neat, uh, unique offering. Number of digital coloring books and, co and some coloring pages to download. Um, hers, the one that I uh, grabbed that would be related to all of this is A Sassy Christmas. This was one of her coloring books that she had, or has. So we are going to scroll through this. Here is some information. She does have a, a Facebook page. Here is the nameplate page. 
and then you have the titles of the pages, which is a really nice touch. I, I like it when artists do that because when I'm doing a color and chat or I'm posting them on social media, I like to have titles with them and it's really neat if they're already, like the artist already has them in place. I'm sure it's easy for her to place them at that point. So here are some of the pages. Really like that first page. I like them all, but in terms of goals of what to color <laughs> this season. And my phone's ringing. Hopefully my husband will get it. This one's sideways. You'll have to kind of turn your head to the side on this one. So there's that one. I don't know if it would let me rotate it or not. Oh, it rotates them all. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. You're just going to have to crane your neck to the side. <laughs> so. Really cute pictures. These are ones that I feel like I could put some real time in to blend if I want to. Or I could just straight color. Oh. Well, we already know one of the pages that Michelle is drawn to and this is just friggin adorable look at that ornament on his tail and the little collar with the bells oh my gosh if only my cats would put up with me putting a santa hat on them this one's cute too <sighs> y'all i have a problem i have too many pages and not enough time my poor back won't put up with all of this so um here's another cute one with the little snowman and the snow cat i guess the rabbit looks really confused maybe it's because of the snow cat maybe that's what it was it's a cute santa claus oh my gosh there's so many good ones in this one guys oh this one with the dragon and he's using the dragon as a tree oh, good gravy look at those calves that little fairy elf whatever it is does not skip leg day that is that is certain my goodness i wish i had calves like that Whew. goodness and it's a by the fireplace picture guys y'all know how i feel about those sorry you gotta turn your head on this one too some unique pictures in this one definitely Partridge in a pear tree? Anyone? Bueller? Anyone? <laughs> Sorry, guys. It has been a stressful morning. Sadly, um, I've been having to do a little work, and I wanted to get these videos done before I left for the Thanksgiving festivities at my parents' house. Because by the time I get home, I know I'm probably not going to feel much like doing any videos and I really wanted to get these out today well that one's cute oh look at those eyes oh my goodness oh, it's too cute y'all give me just a second okay There we go. I wasn't 100% sure if this microphone was picking up mumbling in the background. And I'm certainly not redoing this. I don't have time. Oh, by the fireplace. Sorry if the microphone made noise when I set it down. Oh, they're kissing under the mistletoe. Oh, that one's pretty. That is a lot to be carrying on your head, though. Like, I can't even imagine... The neck problems that she would have with that kind of hairstyle like for realsies oh my goodness this is a very very good size coloring book y'all oh, there's one with a turkey oh my gosh i kind of want to print this one and color it tonight that one would be so fitting Ooh. I really hope she's wearing leggings under that. We're going to assume they're leggings under that dress. Because otherwise, 
<laughs> Otherwise, I guess I don't have to worry about <laughs> if this video is... <laughs> I can, I can just, without a shadow of a doubt, click not made for kids on this one <laughs> if it isn't. So maybe I shouldn't assume those are leggings. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to assume they're leggings. <sighs> can y'all tell I'm, with the exception of one or two minor things, just pretty much off work for the next four days? Can't y'all tell? Can't y'all tell I actually got some sleep last night? As busy as the morning's been, I still feel so, so much better right now than I have in a week. The allergy meds are helping. Oh, that one's cute. Again, I'm repeating myself constantly. The little cheese tree. Look what the mouse did. He's so proud of himself. He is so proud of himself for that tree. He should be proud of himself for not eating it. I mean, though, to be fair, how many of us have been tempted to eat the tree? Though I haven't made the tree out of things that I would like to eat. I mean, if it's a tree full of cakes, then I, I'm setting myself up for failure when I do that one. So there is a Merry Christmas one with a little train and an elf. That's cute. Ooh, here's the one with, like, the three wise men, and then it's got a black background. Oh, she included these with a black background, guys. Some of them. Oh, I like that. My printer might not like that. We'll have to see. I'm going to include a link to my printer, too. I don't have an inkjet printer. I actually have a brother laser printer. Um, that, yeah, you have to buy toner for, but it's been so much more helpful in printing out coloring pages. Um, I have to replace it a lot less often than I do the inkjet ones. So I don't know if my printer will like these black backgrounds. And then you get gift tags with this one, guys. Look at this. Oh, I'm printing those out. I am using those suckers. I am so using these. I love them. And then here is some information. Again, uh, she has a Facebook page, so keep that in mind. It's a really good sized book, guys. Like, I am seeing if I can just find it on her page. It is currently $9.16, and I think it's worth that price for what you get. That has quite a few pictures in that book. I didn't quite... Does it say how many are in here? 38. That is a really good amount of pictures, guys. I am I am impressed, definitely for sure. I have a number of her other books also. She's got a winter bundle as well, which includes that coloring book as long as well as some other images. So there is that one. We are just taking our time with this. We are chilling. There's a ton of pictures to go through, and this is probably gonna take a while. But you know what? I'm having fun. Hopefully you're having fun. Hopefully. The next one, um, again, very, uh, I've seen quite a bit of, his, quite a few of his pictures. I've seen a lot of uh, his stuff out there. This is Jason Hamilton. Again, I have one of his books, which is like Cats and Quilts, I think. I've done a picture out of that one. Um, but the pictures that he offers on his Etsy page are just amazing. And his books are great. I, I want to own more of his books. And guys, it's like like Christine Karen and all them. If I kept buying physical versions of these books, like I would need another bookcase and I would fill it up in no time. And I have no room in here for another bookcase. So I guess this is where the digital downloads are coming into play. But um, anyway, he, he does offer some of his PDFs with tutorials on how to color and shade them, which is really cool. I like, I like that he offers that. That is kind of unique. He does do a lot of cat-related pictures, which we're going to see here in a minute. And as you can tell, he does have a number of Christmas-related pictures. So let's take a look at some of those pictures. I love this one love it guys like this might be the one out of it's so hard because you're gonna see the other ones and it's it's just it's so damn hard trying to fix these 
my back my back gets so like inflamed lately and sore and stuff and the thing is it's going to limit what i color like if not i would be coloring every single spare second i had on some of this but my back's not going it flared up in october when i went crazy with halloween pages so i'm going to have to try to pick and choose but this one guys i love it i love it i love it i love this one too this is his his pictures it's really hard to choose guys it really is this one i love I really do. like I, I love them all like why do i keep i'm just repeating myself at this point but this one's so adorable and this one of course they're just they're just all cute and like i said all these artists have other non-Christmas, non-holiday pictures. So, I mean, I'm featuring their holiday pictures, but definitely check them out even if you're not a Christmas winter kind of colorist. Definitely check them out for some of their other pictures. This at least gives you an idea of what their art looks like. I love the look on his face. This is the look of, you're about to take all my wrapping and all my boxes away and I hate you. It could also be the reindeer antlers too, so... And then this one. This is one of the ones he offers a tutorial on. So yeah, guys. I don't know. The, his It's going to be a tough choice. So definitely check him out. Then we have Deborah Muller. Uh, ChubbyMermaidArt.com She does offer some freebies, which is really cool that she does that. Um, as we all know, I've talked a lot about Deborah Muller recently. Um, definitely have been um, getting on board with <laughs> what she what she has to offer here lately. Um, she does offer some Christmas gift tags that you can color, some different sheets you can purchase and color, which is really cute. I might be looking at these as well i mean these are 70 cents right now for this page so definitely a neat idea again it just really comes down to what kind of printer you have and whether it's, i have a kid <laughs> i closed my door and the, there all i see was a big long white paw and arm under the door like hooking because of course god forbid i close a door in this house guys Anyway, she has a ton of Christmas related coloring pages um, to choose from. She does have some Christmas books. I was trying to see if she had them. Actually, yeah, I don't see them. But here is the Merry, Fa Merry Fairy Christmas book that she just put out. Um, she put out a Christmas Angels book recently, A Merry Mermaid Christmas. And then the book we're going to look at, which is known for the holidays. She does also offer just some actual coloring pages that you can download. Um, here are some of her other Christmas books. We did flip through Christmas Magic the other day and The Winter Woodland Wonderland. So some of the, she does offer a group of, I think it's five cats and stockings pictures that you can download. And these are JPEGs. So we're going to show them. We're going to hop over here to paint and show these. And again, we all know how I feel about the cats and stockings. I like that one where he's maybe missing an eye or he's just squinting. He could be just winking. Either way, he's still cute. And then this one with the little Santa hat. And this one, he looks so sad. Probably sad because he has those antlers on, is my guess. So those are available as just uh, a group of five that are downloadable. Then the book I'm going to scroll through, and this is the cover for it, is Gnome for the Holidays. I did uh, purchase that one as a digital version. Here is the nameplate page. <clears throat> excuse me and then here we go with the images let me there we go that way you can get a better look at them i didn't <laughs> i 
I didn't have a Christmas book that was specific to gnomes, so I figured this would be a good purchase for me. Sorry about that. There's some Christmas geese that do not look like a-holes. They look kind of friendly. I guess in gnome world, they're friendly geese. I like this one a lot. And this one. I like her little pigtails. Those are cute. And the bunny in the sweater. We just talked about my whole fuzzy animal kind of thing. No, I'm not going to be bringing in rabbits and raccoons and squirrels and... I... No, I... <laughs> as much as I love them, those are strictly outdoor animals. I guess I should call them not my raccoons and not my uh, squirrels and stuff like that. So, love his hat. I'd love a hat like that. I don't know why they look so they look so worried why are they so worried is it because he's got the snow are these snowballs is he gonna throw the snowballs at them are they about to get pummeled with snowballs is that why they look that way i like this one too with a little bird on top and then the lights these are super cute Again, I have no idea how long this is running. We are just rolling with it. Because I do not want to do a part four. <laughs> I like this one. Ooh, another dragon. Really digging the Christmas. Nothing says Christmas like dragons, am I right? <laughs> Boy, that, that squirrel looks... I hate to say it, that squirrel looks just a little bit rabid. Like, um, he's, the, I'm a little worried for Mr. Gnome here. Like, I'm a little worried that that, like, maybe it's a full moon. Is it a were squirrel? I mean, are there such things as were squirrels? Is that what's happening there? I'm sure, I apologize to any of the artists that are watching this, that I'm featuring their stuff, and they're like, oh my gosh, she's crazy. She is crazy. And that is a big, big bear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that cat's excited, let me tell you. Christmas came early for that cat. Yeah, she should be worried. <laughs> that cat and all them birds, that, can, that just cannot end well. <laughs> oh, he's singing with them. It's so cute. I like that one a lot. That might be the one, guys. That's super cute. I feel like we could play, like, um, um, we could play bingo with my words. Like, how many times she says adorable and cute and sweet and I don't know, the person, or play a drinking game with it. Maybe that's Play a holiday drinking game with that. That might not be a good idea. Might want to put down the wine for that one. This one's cute with the cats and the little roasting marshmallows in the fireplace. Or campfire. <sighs> Come on, Michelle. Narwhals, again. <laughs> I know what they are now. <laughs> again, if you saw my flip through of a million unicorns, you'll know. Like, I totally blanked on those. So does this mean if you're naughty, you get cookies, and if you're nice, you get candy canes? I, I, I'm not, I, I'm a little concerned about the message there. Or maybe he stole the cookies. Maybe that's why he's naughty. I like that one, too. And of course, we gotta have one with the kitties. Oh, this one's gonna be a hard one, too, guys. For sure. And there we go. That is Deborah Muller. Like I said, be sure to check out her store for Christmas and other downloads. Then we have <clears throat> Julia Speary, who, as you can see right here, is having a Black Friday sale. And she's already started it with 50% off her digital downloads. 
which is really cool. Um, looks like her coloring pages are getting cut down to like $1.50 or $1.80 each, which is super cool. She has a ton of coloring pages. And again, we could sit here and spend so much time going through her stuff. There is one in particular I'm going to feature of hers that I did download. I downloaded others, but this one um, would be not that. Where is hers? Here is hers. It is, the, it is titled Winter Queen. And it is gorgeous. I love the grayscale on this picture. I really like in the background want, I feel compelled to use um, something watercolor type base like my Neo Colors or actual watercolor pencils or something. Just the way the background is, I, I get that want to do that. And um, anyway, I really want to color this picture in particular this year. So. Um, gorgeous picture. Just love it. Like I said, I've downloaded some other pictures of hers, um, but that one was one that was specifically like winter or Christmas related. So as you saw, we're going to veer away from Etsy and we're going to take a look at three Jade Summer Christmas coloring books. No, not three, two. And then there's one more digital picture. Let's just go ahead and do the digital picture. So even Crayola dot com has where you can download um go away yes we all know that i bought um that i bought stuff from etsy and that i'm buying stuff from etsy today and that i really need to stop um <laughs> but last year i went to crayola.com and they had some free downloads of christmas pictures and i really like this one guys in particular this is the merry christmas snow globe Hopefully they still have these available. I should have went to their site and looked. I guess we could go and look right now. Why not? Let me put the mic down. Let's go take a look. Free coloring pages. Oh, oh good old pop-ups. Don't you love them? Here is seasonal, filter by seasons. Um, okay, they disappeared on me. That stinks. Let's go back to just seasons then. Anyway, they have a number of them through here. It is not doing it, is it? That was a bummer. Let's just go back and look at seasonal again. Try this again. So you've got different holidays here that you can download for. We've got a lot of free pages, guys. Halloween. Oh, where are they? There's a sledding in the snow. There's a winter one. Snow bears. You've got a snowman. 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 You've got some Thanksgiving ones. Oh, this turkey one's really cute. Oh, I like that turkey one. Well, if you don't like pop-ups, um, you're probably not going to like the site. Anyway. You can download a number of seasonal pictures from their page. Here's the Christmas Cat and Cardinal, which I do have, but I'm not sure if I'm going to color that one. Anyway, hopefully the Christmas Snow Globe is still on here. I hope it is. They've got some Christmas ornaments. So, anyway, if it's not on... There it is. Okay, perfect. So, it's still on there, and then you can go and print it. So that is one I really want to do. I do like this one a lot. So there are some free pages there, which is really cool. So now we're going to do the Jade Summer books. Again, when I link these in the description, I'm going to link to the physical copy of these books because the digital versions like this are no longer available. This is the Christmas Coloring Book by Jade Summer. 
And again, we all know it's an imprint. And if you're familiar with Jade Summer, you know it's an imprint. It's a team of independent artists. So there is some information about leaving an Amazon review. So this is their original Christmas book. So they have a volume two and a volume three. This is like, I guess, volume one, even though it doesn't say volume one on it. So again, some really cute pictures in this one. Oh, the little bunny. Why is the bunny on the roof? I'm really concerned for that bunny. Like he really shouldn't be on the roof. That's not good for him. That's not a good place to be. Some good pattern pages in here if you like that kind of thing. I like this one a lot with the ornaments. Oh, my phone's buzzing. I'll get to it here in a moment. Like I said, we are just riding through and finishing this one up. Because I got the other video to do after this and then I got to go. Very cute pages. Now, I don't know if Jade Summer is doing a Black Friday sale or not. I have not seen any email related to it quite yet. But that would definitely be something to check out. I've thought about tomorrow doing a video where, like, maybe if I see... I like this one a lot. Um, maybe if I see some Black Friday sales on certain types of coloring books on Amazon or on Etsy, I can kind of show those and talk about them, do like a uh, on the computer video, kind of like I'm doing right now. I like the, actually, I like this one a lot. Are these like beads? Does he have, is this like, um, is he still stuck back in the 60s? Like, I, I love the, this is me, like, <laughs> this is my normal workwear, like PJ pants and slippers. I am, I am totally digging this. He is taking a well-deserved rest. I like that picture a lot. But yeah, I'm thinking of maybe doing that type of video tomorrow. I like this one a lot too. I don't know, we will see. And then hopefully Saturday I can finally load a color and chat because I've got a story for you guys about what went down in my life last weekend. And I need to tell it. I've had like no time to even color. I've had time to look at all these coloring books and pictures. Boy, he is hangry and he is about to cause some trouble. With that open window and those cookies and whatnot there, he is looking mighty interested. Aw, I like that one too. I like this one. He just, <laughs> he's got that evil, that naughty look in his eyes. Like he is about to cause some major trouble. Is that the, yeah, that's the last one. So there is the Christmas coloring book by Jade Summer. Anyway, if that's something you guys might be interested in, where I just kind of go around and look at and see if I can find some sales on some different books, like maybe the Creative Haven books, Jade Summer in particular, um, any of some of the regular artists that I normally purchase from anyway. This is Christmas Animals by Jade Summer. Now, the physical copies of the Jade Summer books are um, all going to be one-sided. It's Amazon printed paper with like a black backing on it. And they're not perforated. Now, this probably only has one copy of all the images because obviously if you want another copy, you can print them out. I like this one with the little chipmunk. And the unicorn. Knew I had a Christmas animals picture. This was one I did last year, right? Like, or no, I printed it out with the intention of doing it, I think. And I didn't actually get it done, which was a shame. We might do that one this year. So yeah, that's kind of the schedule for the rest of the week. If I do all that in a color chat on Saturday, then y'all will just get 
hopefully some videos next week. Those bunnies are sitting there. They're probably not eyeing the turkey. They're just eyeing all these little leaves and whatnot around the turkey. I think that's caught their interest. I like the little scarf and the collar. That's cute. Oh, one of my cats caught something. He wants to come through the door and tell me. Sid chases little squirrel. Sid chases little the little puffball toys around the house, and then she'll capture them and and make noises and want us to congratulate her on being such a good hunter. This was the one I did last year. I know I did this one last year. Super cute. The bears. I know he's supposed to probably look like a happy raccoon, but he kind of looks a little bit creepy. Like, maybe he's a slightly rabid raccoon. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like a rabid raccoon. There is a hippo. So yeah, that's kind of the plan, guys. We'll see how it goes. I've learned not to make concrete plans on anything, which is why I'm telling you what I may or may not color, but that may not necessarily end up being the case. So was he placed on there or did he assume his throne? I don't know if I'd want to eat it after that. No offense. Oh, he looks so happy. These are really cute. Oh, I like that one. Oh my gosh, guys. I ha I do not have the time to color all these. It's such a shame. So there we go. Um, that it concludes my Christmas and winter uh, flip through extravaganza, I guess you could call it. Um, we have covered a lot over the past week. Maybe you have seen something you like that you've added to your list. Um, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this series. Like I said, uh, we'll see what I do tomorrow and then what I've got planned for Saturday. And we'll go from there. I hope you, like I said, if you're in the U.S., I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. For everyone else, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And um, if you want to get in the holidays, if you're the holiday spirit kind of person, I do hope you have a wonderful set of holidays and maybe some time to get into the holidays this weekend. I am hoping I can do that. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye for now.